Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today's project is for the Alton New Build a Flower release and this month the flower is the Torch Ginger and Alton New is celebrated by having a block hop and a giveaway. So what I've created with this flower which actually is beautiful I had never seen it before so I thought it was when I got the catalog I thought it was amazing and I said okay I'll you know take part of the the block hop and I love the fact that the flower actually has a lot of movement in it and it has this um i'm gonna say it looks like a little cone which i love so and on top of it is super easy to build so i'm just gonna show you a quick look on how it builds up i for my project you're gonna see that i actually stamped the outline of the flowers using black obsidian ink and then i did not stamp uh the first um stamp is, am i saying it properly or, or should i say like you know how all the stamps have like a filler that completely covers the entire uh, surface of the um image i chose to skip that because i didn't want the flowers to be that deep in color i'm just gonna play instead with more of the detailed parts of the stamp i think that makes more sense so i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna skip the first step after stamping the outline i'm gonna skip the first step and i'm gonna continue working with the rest of the stamp images so i'm gonna stamp the details and i'm choosing to create my layout i'm actually using colors from the red cosmos mini incube set and also from the tea party mini incube set and also the green meadows to stamp the leaves so you're gonna see that like i said super easy to layer with very realistic um, um results so um there's four steps I'm saying yeah, there's four steps to building well four plus the outline to build on the flower i'm only using the outline plus the three last ones but to stamp the last uh, step which is the most detailed part i'm actually going to use the last two colors of the ink set so that it kind of marries all the colors together so you're gonna see that i'm actually using in this case um, i stamped the darker color first on my stamp no stamp but added the ink the darker color on my stamp and then i went with the lighter one on top that's gonna create a so it's gonna soften the the color and add, add a little bit more depth instead of like you know having because i'm skipping the first step and that's about it for the flowers like i said i i'm choosing to work within the purples and the pinks uh, a nice combination of colors you're gonna see what um, i used for the top one was a tea party and from the bottom one is red cosmos and like i said i am using uh, the green meadows ink set for the leaves and the leaves also super easy to um stamp uh, actually it's three steps again there's an outline there is one that covers the entire image um, and then there's two details so it makes it really easy very easy to uh, also to layer so this took no time to build like the flowers took no time to build and then I'm just you're gonna see that I'm gonna take my little die and take it off camera and cut quite a few of them and because there's the kind of on the larger side it didn't take that many also to create a 12 by 12 layout so you're gonna see that i come back right now i've cut all my flowers and then i'm gonna use the lacy edger um die set this, again this is from multi new to cut pieces of paper this is cardstock from my stash that actually match the colors of the flowers so i'm gonna use my mini uh alto new mini die um cutting machine and i'm gonna cut around two of the edges out of each one of the cardstocks and i'm using this because i think this um it's actually gonna come little it's gonna look little strips of a uh, lace edge what i'm gonna use this one for is to anchor the page down and i started with a different idea what the end result's gonna look like um i'm gonna say just a variation what it is so you're gonna see right now i'm just kind of cementing the idea that i have in mind and i know that i'm gonna use the edges or that edgy lace uh, to anchor my page but before i do that i need to add some color to the background just to bring and make everything stand out so my choice and i've said it many times i always tend to go for black and it's not because i like uh, i you know love the color which i do i love black and white but it's more because it makes everything stand out especially the flowers and the details because it's going to be such a simple layout i just want something that's going to make everything pop so my choice is i'm going to use the jet black uh ink from alto new and i'm bringing my um my brush my blending brushes a makeup brush that i have in my stash and i'm going to use the uh, wavy grid stencil again from alton you and all i'm going to do is just add some ink 
to the center of the page which is where the picture is going to sit and then i'm going to lightly move the stencil just so that i have enough coverage um, behind the picture i just want a little bit of the grits to show behind the picture and then i'm going to add two little spots one on the top right corner of the layout because remember i have the strips um yeah the lacy edger strips of the the, pa the paper so i'm gonna have a little uh, cluster right at the top right corner of the layout and then i'm gonna also add a little bit of the same impression of the stencil at the bottom left corner of the layout so you're gonna see that i'm slowly forming a soft diagonal design for my page and it's actually gonna be a diagonal design but um like i said my idea you're gonna see in a bit it changes a little bit just because um it made more sense the other way and and I'll talk to you through it so you're gonna see right now I'm just adding the ink and I'm gonna set it aside to kind of set the ink for a little bit while I clean up and start just back in the picture now to back the picture I am using uh, some of the new papers from the fuchsia soiree paper pack and also that green stripe paper that's from the it's not the Lurin Blooms, it's the Summer, um, but it's a pack that came a while ago and it has all these kind of tealish tones. So I'm going to use two papers from that to back my picture. And then I'm just going to go and add some foam adhesive behind the picture too, just to make it stand from all the stuff that I'm going to add. All I'm doing right now is kind of assembling the page. And I'm starting by layering the, um, the lace, in this case of the paper strips so that they form that vertical line and remember how I had added the ink um, the impression of the ink that's just gonna set everything in place so now that I'm happy with what the stripes of paper look like I'm just gonna go ahead and add some uh, double-sided tape to the back just to keep it in place like I said before I added a bit of foam adhesive behind the picture just so it pops like you know it kind of stands comes off the page and makes it like pop on the layout once I have that all I'm gonna do is start playing with the flowers to kind of create the clusters around it and here's where I changed my idea you're gonna see it at the beginning I thought of creating two clusters around the picture and it is gonna be two clusters but I wanted to have the pictures kind of coming off the picture instead I moved them around so that it looks like there's a branch coming off the into the page and you are gonna see how I build it so I knew from the top I already knew that I was gonna have the cluster and kind of you know have the flowers coming from in between the paper strips so all I'm doing is just placing everything and adding a little bit of foam adhesive behind some of the leaves and some of the flowers and that just helps to create the dimension and add a little bit of movement to the page I don't want it to be so uh, 2d a little bit of 3d helps so I'm just playing with the positioning of the leaves just to break up also the monotony of the pink and the purple and that just gonna have the green is gonna make all the flowers stand out too so I'm just clustering everything at the top uh, right corner of the layout once I have that this is where I actually kind of struggled a little bit and it came to where I started putting the flowers in this case on the bottom left corner of the picture and like I said at the beginning my choice was to have some of the flowers kind of create a cluster that came from behind the picture um, kind of facing towards the bottom of the page did not love it I did not like the placing I played with a few ideas you just see a few it took me a while honestly I struggled with this a bit until I realized that I could make it look like the, it was a branch of the flower coming into the page and it just happened because I moved one of the flowers and it gave me that look so I knew that and that it will is gonna work much better than what I have in place so you're gonna see that I already placed it don't love it I find it that the flowers are just flying in midair I need something to ground them and here's where I decide to just kind of take a chance and make it look like I said like if the branch is coming into the page and there's kind of a big cluster right there that touches the picture and kind of extends from behind the picture to the other uh, cluster really like the look of it it makes more sense than just having the flowers floating so to make sure that I you know that this idea cements I'm actually gonna use the artist marker set E this again from Alton New these are alcohol markers to draw branches so that it sells the idea it cements the idea that there is a branch uh, that is coming into the page now again not so sure if this plant or this flower grows in branches but in my little scrapbook page they live in branches and they parked in themselves 
in a sheet of 12 by 12. So love how this turned out. After that, I'm actually gonna keep it very simple when it comes to the embellishing. This sticker, which is gonna be my title, says collecting happy moments. And if you see the picture, that's my sister and my mom. And they're just looking, going through pictures on our phones that we have of our families. We have, we, my sister and I, uh, my mom taught us since we were very young to take lots of pictures. We have, uh, so we always have pictures of our kids that we don't share all the time. Not because we don't share, them just because we don't see each other that often she lives a little bit far from us so whenever we get together we you know we share lots of pictures we're always connected online sharing pictures but it's different when you see it with the person and it tells you the story so there's my mom and my sister sharing some of the pictures going through the stories and all i'm gonna do is just add some clusters um and i'm gonna add some enamel dots of the same colors that i use this is the red cosmos uh, enamel dots from alton new so i'm just gonna add a few just to help me um create the visual triangle and then i'm gonna add my lens to journal right underneath that cluster that's coming into the pick into the layout at the bottom left corner um the only thing that you don't see here is that i actually moved the title a little a little bit higher um just i thought it was too low and it was just making the bottom heavy so i'm gonna move it a little bit higher to be right underneath the picture and um that's about it I love how this turned out. As always, don't hesitate to hop into my blog to check out more details of this page and also to join in the blog club and have a chance to win gift certificates. As always, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, guys.